Alex Sim Simbana. Here. There we go. Great. Uh, good afternoon, council members, chairman. Thank you for to the committee for holding this hearing today. I would like to say this is a unique opportunity, but too many of us on this witness list today have been here for years talking about schools, necessary changes to our school system, humane and thoughtful policies for teachers to ensure that our best and highest performing teachers remain with us in DCPS schools. We need policies that recognize that these professionals give of their time to do the most important work in our community. Despite hours of testimony over the years, here we are again. I saw a clip yesterday of the mayor claiming to care about teachers and wanting DC to become a great new spot for teachers. This is both laughable and insulting at the same time, almost in equal measure, because we have done nothing to show our teachers that we value them. We've done nothing because even as they've worked tirelessly through a pandemic, we have not yet approved a contract for them in years. We've done nothing because their COVID leave policy was removed, even though they're most likely to become ill due to exposure to unmasked children and adults. Not only do we not treat them as professionals, but we don't even treat them as human beings. Not allowing them to have leave when they're sick or when their children get sick. Instead, we knowingly allow them to quickly deplete their regular leave time to then move to unpaid leave when we place them in a situation where we know they are at higher risk. At the same time, demanding that they return to work at school where they can get others sick. If we truly valued kids being in school, we would take actions to keep everyone in the building safe by using masks. In conversations with teachers who have already left DCPS schools before and during this pandemic, they've always reported being sad they're leaving their students, their schools and their communities. I've always heard them say that it was never the students, the difficulties and resources, or even the many economic hardships that they endured supplying their own classrooms but it was instead all the additional tasks that were always added that had nothing to do with frontline servicing of their students. Our traditional school system is held up by these wonderful teaching professionals that give of their time, their heart, their energy, and their knowledge day after day. And instead, we add more and more bureaucratic and unnecessary paperwork and testing onto their plates, taking away any joy of teaching and learning for the teacher and the students. We continue to hold these hearings and no one has ever tried actually listening to the teachers and taking actions on the issues they identify. Giving them what they ask for, functional buildings, resources for their classrooms, functional and up-to-date technology for their students and classrooms, working HVAC systems so their students aren't overheating in 80 plus degree classrooms or freezing throughout the winter. Medical leave that makes sense that recognizes that recognizes that our teachers aren't only education educational professionals, but mothers and fathers themselves with families at home who may be caring for small children, sick relatives, or elderly parents. If we really have interest in creating a system that will foster care for everybody, it must include a structure that recognizes these professionals are at the heart of our success and not just give lip service to the latest craze. Instead, what we should do is overhaul this entire system. We should remove mayoral control we should take drastic action to reduce the bloated staff outside of the classroom, which have nothing to do with direct services to the students. We should make every professional who absorbs an educational dollar show their impact on a student's life, their efficiency in delivering services to students and improving the educational system for every single DCPS student. Our teachers have had enough. We need to make sure we don't lose any more teachers as the system becomes frightfully more fragile with gimmicks and lip service that comes from downtown. We should start immediately with three deliverable actions with which anyone who is interested in providing a good public educational system to our students will support. We need a contract for teachers immediately. We need a reinstate of the reinstatement of COVID and personal medical leave for teachers and paraprofessionals and the ability for them to continue to work remotely if they are able reinstating masks and testing to ensure a safe work environment for them and their families. And three, improvements to the school buildings for working HVAC systems. I hope we as a city take action and will give these teachers what they need so they can continue with their important task of educating our children. Our teachers continue to work despite our continued failure to give them what they need or our failure to support them. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Simbana.